Begin the first phase of stage one, the earth, by using parts supplied with issues one and two. Screw the decorative top nut onto the threaded end of the earth axis spindle. Slide the earth axis spindle through planet earth with the north pole uppermost against the top nut. Slide one small plastic washer onto the base of the earth axis spindle to sit below the south pole. Slide the earth support arm onto the base of the earth axis spindle with the projecting inner face of the collar upwards. Slide the spring onto the base of the earth axis. Slide the small spacer tube over the spring. Slide the second small plastic washer onto the base of the earth axis spindle. Slide the 18 tooth chamfered gear onto the base of the earth axis with the chamfered gear teeth uppermost. Secure the assembly by tightening an M3G grub screw into the chamfered gear using a 1.5 mm Allen key. Note that the spring must have space to operate, so leave a small gap at the top of the spacer tube when fixing the chamfered gear. The second phase of stage one uses parts supplied with issues three and four. Slide the 54 tooth chamfered gear onto the earth support arm so that its teeth mesh with the 18 tooth gear. Slide the long spacer tube onto the earth support arm and engage its notches with those in the base of the 54 tooth gear. Slide the 14 tooth chain sprocket onto the earth support arm and engage its notches with those in the base of the long spacer tube. Slide the medium plastic washer onto the earth support arm. Slide the short spacer tube onto the earth support arm. The third phase of stage one uses parts supplied with issues five and six. Using a 1.5 mm Allen key, thread one M3G grub screw loosely into the side of the spindle collar. Using three KM 2.5 crosshead screws, fix the 91 tooth gear to the spindle collar. Ensure the screw heads sit in the countersunk sides of the gear. Note that all the crosshead screws used for the model are of the Phillips type, so ensure you use the correct screwdriver. Do not use a posi drive screwdriver. Slide the 91 tooth gear assembly onto the earth support arm so that it is firmly against the previous assembly. Lock the gear in place by tightening the grub screw in the spindle collar using a 1.5 mm Allen key. Slide the large plastic washer onto the base of the earth support arm. The fourth phase of stage one adds the large earth arm supplied with issue seven. Slot one eight millimeter steel bearing into the central hole in the top of the large earth arm. Slot the second bearing into the underside of the same hole. Take the earth support arm with all its gears assembled and slide it through the two bearings in the central hole on the earth arm so that the base of the support arm spindle protrudes below. Add the medium plastic washer so that it sits on the protruding lower end of the earth support arm. Ensure the lower steel bearing remains in position above the washer. Slide the locking collar onto the end of the earth support arm spindle. Tighten the large headed M3A grub screw into the locking collar using a 2.5 mm Allen key. Ensure all the gears and tubes are close fitting on the spindle above. Now insert the four temporary plastic feet into the sockets in the underside of the earth arm. These provide support for the assembly at this stage but will be removed later on. Stage one is now complete.